Hiya, you all right? So it's squash season. I love winter vegetables. I'm gonna make a tray bake with smoked sausage and squash. So you can use butternut squash, pumpkin, any sort of squash that you've got, because there's loads of nice squashes in the supermarket, isn't there? I've seen them, but this tickled us this morning. I'm such a child. <laughs> you see them all over Facebook, don't you? Random carrot shapes. He's even got a bum at the back. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that, I'll have to show you. So we're gonna chop some vegetables. So you want a big tray. This is my size of tray. But then it depends how many you're making it for. This is for four. I had a bag of parsnips in the fridge that were they're on the turn, so I'm gonna use them. So I've got four parsnips, one red onion, a couple of big carrots. I've just chopped them up in chunky pieces. And I've got four potatoes, I'm going to chop them up as well. Fire everything on your tray. Just chuck them in. Potatoes are quite small pieces, you don't want them too big. You want them to cook at the same time as everything else. Now chop your squash or your pumpkin, butternut squash, whatever it is you're using. You can actually eat the skin. I'm not gonna on this occasion, but you can if you want to, you don't have to peel it. If I was making soup, I wouldn't peel it. I would just liquidize it, because um, it, it totally breaks down. You don't. Have, you can eat the skin, you don't have to peel it. However, the skin on this might be a bit tougher, but in soup, it's fine. I've chopped it up. Now it can be quite difficult to peel, so it's good if you've got a really sharp peeler. I'm cutting this squash into quite big chunks. I've got something to show you, hang on. What do you think? I've got some Northern Nick pinnies. It's got an adjustable strap there. It's got a pocket at the front. It's got Northern Nick on there. It's good, isn't it? I'll put a link on for these shortly. Squash goes in your tray. It's a good looking tray. Now I've not put the sausage in yet. I'll put that in later. We're going to give this a good glug of olive oil. A good glug. I've got my apron on, do you like? We're putting on two teaspoons of ground cumin. Heap teaspoons, don't be tight with your spice. I hate it when you're in a restaurant or somewhere and someone does that with the salt. You know, because it's clogged up, that annoys me. It's the little things that annoy you, isn't it? Oh, now I've got plenty, let's put some back. There. Two good teaspoons of smoked paprika. Good teaspoon of dried parsley. Now, you know what we're gonna do now. Take your rings off, get your hands in, and get all of that covered. You could also put a teaspoon of chili flakes in there as well. I don't think I'm gonna, but you can, you do you. Get your hands in. A bit of salt you can put in there if you want as well. Looks good just as it is, doesn't it? Now I'm going to cover that in foil for the first half hour and pop it in a 200 oven. In it goes. Whip the foil off after half an hour. Back in. How good does that look? Make sure there's enough oil. Turn everything over. I've got a smoked sausage. You can get them in all the supermarkets. Just take it out and chop it up. Introduce it to the vegetables. Now mix them in with all these vegetables, making sure that you get them coated in all of those spices and the oil and then 
that goes back in the oven and then when it's almost done when everything's crisp then we go in with the drizzle of, of honey because if we put it in too soon it's just going to burn so the honey goes on at the end 10 minutes before serving but it looks good already the oil in the pan's got a lovely orange colour I don't know if I'll get it out of the tea towels though Now it's ready for honey. Drizzle the honey over everything. Two or three tablespoons. I've had this in the microwave just to make it easy because it's in a jar. If you've got a squeezy bottle, then that's easier. Give it a good sprinkle, mix it all up, then the last five or ten minutes in the oven. This is ready now. How gorgeous is that and it's all in one pot you want those vegetables to be dark and gnarly and crisp let's dish up that's duchess she can smell it let's dish up how delicious dollop of greek yogurt just on there if you're being fancy just a little sprinkle of paprika on there let's try this i have a feeling it's gonna burn my mouth but it smells amazing so simple don't waste those pumpkins there's someone at the door i'm not answering it i'm busy i'm not the only one in the sausage has released all of its oils as well. I think I've got visitors, I might have to share this. It's just my friend Tracy, I've put her in the living room for five minutes. So give this a go. This would be lovely with cauliflower. And I have got some cauliflower. I just didn't think to put it in. But that would be nice. And those pa parsnips. Parsnips and honey go together perfectly. And that was good. Not wasting them. Just whatever veg you've got. Chuck it in. Beautiful. It really is gorgeous. And it's not hot. As in spicy hot. Cumin just gives a tasty warmth. So you've got a tasty warmth and you've got like a smoky glow from the paprika and the sausage is smoky beautiful bit of go whatever you do don't forget to like and share and i shall see you soon if you would like one of these pinnies i'll put a link on above so you just need to tap on the link and it'll take you through the payment these are 12 pound and they include postage lovely christmas present This is gorgeous, I can't stop eating it. So whatever you're doing, have a great day. Enjoy your tea, whatever you're making. And I shall see you soon. Thanks for following. Thanks for buying these. Thanks to everyone who's bought my books. Some calendars coming as well. Bye-bye.